so I've made it to the lake I'm gonna be fishing today and today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different I'm gonna be fishing for trout usually I fish for like largemouth or smallmouth or like pickerel something like that but today I'm fishing with my buddy he's behind the camera we're gonna be going for some trout yo brown trout rainbow trout brook trout any trout uh, rainbows and brook or, uh, browns are in here and in this lake specifically there's brown trout and rainbow trout that we're targeting today so i've already saved you guys the boring parts of drilling all six of my lines just because this place isn't a trout designated lake or pond i can have six lines instead of just the normal two so i got five fray bill tip ups with me and then i'm gonna be jigging in my bob house and hopefully it's not too big of a deal but typically when i go trout fishing i don't really bring all my bass gear because i downsize my line my hooks and my bait but today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be using these big leftover shiners that I have. All right, so now I just have to repeat that four more times. Shallow perch, about four inches. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, wow, look at that. My buddy just hooked into one. A little one. Was that the one you were marking, you think? Yeah, I don't know. So I just got done setting up everything. My buddy just hooked into like a four inch yellow perch, which might be a good sign. But right now I'm fishing kind of like a flat cove, kind of like this bay. It's just sandy and flat and basically like a beach. Fishing in depths anywhere from about four feet to 10 feet. All right, so what I'm gonna be jigging in my bob house with are these dillies. Now I'm not 100% sure like the best trout bait, but figured worms can't help or hurt. And I'm just gonna gob it on the hook. Just keep gobbing it. A little bit of a tail. And I'm just gonna be jigging this worm just a couple feet underneath the ice. I'm fishing about seven feet right now in my bob house. All right. First flag for me, it was spinning, but when I wanted to go grab the camera. Oh. Nope. Or yes. Hurt. So first fish for me today is just a tiny yellow perch. But I'll take that I guess for the first flag today. Okay, so we've been here for about an hour with just that one yellow or those two yellow perch to shoot for it. So right now me and my buddy are kind of moving spots and just checking other spots right now. Looking for deeper water. Yeah, right now we're just looking for deeper water. So we brought everything pretty light. We just brought the augers and the fish finders. And we're gonna punch a bunch of holes and uh, see if we can Hooking to some fish on the fly. All right. Pretty deep actually, it says 13 feet. 13 feet, not marking anything though. And I'm either marking a fish. Ooh. I think I'm already marking a school of fish right now. Maybe that's what I'm marking. I could fuck this reel up though. Yeah, there's something on me right below me, or there was. I don't think I'm marking you. Yeah, I'm definitely not marking you. Oh, fish just popped up from the bottom. Got him. Well. That's what I was marking. Right. 
We'll send that. That's why I thought we had interference, like the ball. Yeah, I'm still marking fish down there. Not big ones. You guys see the three lines on my fish finder right here? That top one are the split shots. That bottom one is my worm. But that kind of faint one in the middle is probably a small perch. It's like a video game now. All right, let's switch spots. Yep. As much as I like using a worm, it is slightly boring. So I'm going to be bringing this little rattle bait with me. All right, so we're working with the same depth we were just and at the other hole, and it already looks like I'm marking something along the bottom there. No, uh, 13. 13. So I'm gonna stick with my rattle bait for a little bit longer. But if I can't really get anything to eat this rattle bait in pretty quick, then I'm just gonna then I'm just gonna be switching over back to the worm. Takes a while for my worm to sink down there. There's something down there, but oh, <laughs> I had him. Whatever it was, I think it was a tiny yellow perch. Got him. So that's exactly what's messing with me down there. Small, small yellow perch. Oh, yep, got him. Got him. A little bit bigger. What is it? Oh, yo, white perch. Oh, that's so cool. This is my second white perch I've ever caught in my life. Yeah, I never saw my oh, nice. Caught the yellow perch earlier and now caught white. Ooh, big school of fish just moved in.
Maybe I can get one of them? Come on. Something hit my worm. Look at all those fish moving. Got him. Oh, I missed him. Dang. Something did take my bait, but I ended up missing him. There's so much bait right there. My Garmin thinks it's only four feet, but 